see some professional photography. I've got a number of questions related to uh, the type of strobes that we use here in the studio and sometimes on location. One of the more um, cost-efficient strobes that I've found, uh, I think that a number of people would be able to afford and like, would be Alien Bees. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but you can Google it or you can look it up on YouTube and you will find numerous videos um, going over the Alien Bee line, um, personal reviews, what each photographer thinks about them and so on. Now, the common question that I seem to get a lot is the type of modifier is best used with these. Which is better, the 800 or the 1600? You know, really it depends on what your workflow is going to require, you know, as to which type of Alien B uh, model you would need. Now, again, you know, it comes in a number of different flavors. 1600, I think, is probably one of the best. The reason why I went that direction is that in many cases I'd rather have too much power than obviously not enough. Now, as far as the modifiers go, there's a number of different modifiers, and I'll go over one of the ones that people seem to focus on the most, which is the beauty dish. And I'll show you here on their website, they have a number of different, they have two different types, actually, a beauty dish. One is white, <clears throat> which is a little bit smaller than the one that I'm showing you here. And it has its inner reflector, very simple construction. And the other thing that comes with it that is optional, uh, depending on how you would use it, is I saw one of the other photographers talking about it before, and I guess I kind of adopted the same term. You know, I call this the bag lady. And basically what it is is diffusion material that you would pull over the outer edges of your beauty dish, and you would use that as a diffuser, or there's a number of other types of diffusers, and I'll show you a couple of those on their website. Okay, as I said, there's a number of type, different types of uh, alien bees, and as you see here, they're very inexpensive. From the 400, the 800, and the 1600, you know, there is definitely a power difference in the three different lights. You know, again, like I said, I went with the uh, 800, which is a true 640 watt seconds. The 800 is 320 watt seconds, and the 400 is 160 watt seconds. And your price range on these is varying from $124, I'm sorry, $224, $279, down to $359. And you know, realistically, $359, if you're working in a pro or semi-pro environment, should be a very, very, you know, good investment for you. Because, I mean, for that price, you could buy, you know, 10 of these things if you ever really needed you know, them. One of the things I think a lot of people like about this units is that it comes in multiple colors. It comes in green, red, yellow, white, black. I usually go with black for the larger uh, wattage so it's easier for me to spot which one is which, you know, during a shoot or something like that. But, you know, again, that's one of those things that you just um, pick by your personal preference. Another really good investment is your light stand. That's one of the most crucial things to protect your light, protect your client. You know, I went with the 13-foot uh, air cushion stands. You know, they're basic in construction, but very sturdy. You know, and if you add the uh, wheels to them, you know, these come out to be pretty handy. And as you see, they close down pretty small. And I'll show you that here. You know, what's cool about those is that if for some reason, you know, you or your assistant not paying attention, you know, releases one of these light clips too fast, you know, it can protect your light from being damaged or preventing it from crashing down to the floor or to the base of the stand. Now, don't forget that many times you're going to be shooting either on location or with clients and it's just more practical to have a wireless setup for your units, you know, so that you can trigger similar to the um, wireless devices that you may find on eBay or what have you. These are not really that expensive for what you get for them. 
you know, I personally use, um, I've used a number of these, you know, when I was using Profoto lights or any other type of lights. If I use pocket wizards or whatever, trust me, these come in tremendously handy, you know, as far as setting up your lights at great distances and being able to trigger them from wherever they are. And here, you know, because we don't really, rarely do we have huge space that we have to cover, you know, these work out perfectly um, to control and trigger the lights. You know, you have a simple little Velcro type of setup you can use to connect these. You can get this Velcro at almost any craft store. Simple plug in the back. These fit right into the hot shoe of your camera. You know, pop right out. And when you're metering, whether you have your camera in hand or just this device with you, you know, it's easy to trip the lights where you can get your light readings and, you know, get ready for calibrating all of your lights for your shoe. Okay, guys, I hope this short video has been helpful. Again, as I uh, mentioned earlier um, in some of the video blogs that we've been doing, as well as things that I posted on YouTube, is that we were going to um, start doing little short videos each day, as many as I can afford to do, you know, with my work uh, flow and my time schedule and getting these out as quick as I can if you have any questions or you like something demonstrated or suggestions for something you know just shoot off an email to me here at the end of this video I'm gonna throw up a couple of images that I actually used this beauty dish with and you can kinda get an idea of uh, the quality of light now take into consideration every one of these images was edited in Photoshop you know they've been modified somewhat in Lightroom you know and so on but, you know, even with that, generally in almost any situation when you're going to be shooting for a client, there is going to be some post-editing. You know, you can get a lot of it done in the camera, but the majority of your work is going to be post-work. Anyway, thank you for following me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, iReport. And again, if you have any questions, leave it at the bottom of the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.